Hey everyone, so today I'm going to plan out February in my Hobonichi Cousin. In my last video, I showed how I planned out February in my main rings planner. I keep this one pretty minimal and in my Hobonichi Cousin, I get a little bit more decorative. In my main planner, I use this for actually planning. And then in my Hobonichi Cousin and my Hobonichi Weeks and my Hobonichi A6, I use that more for documenting. So for example, here I have videos laid out in my main planner, but in my Hobonichi Cousin, I'll write down the actual videos I ended up doing, which should be the same thing, but is not the same thing all the time. So here is where I log what I actually did for the month. So I have my planner, of course. I have my pencil pouch and my sticker file as well as my monthly kit. So this is the monthly subscription. So I like to use a lot of these decorative stickers in this spread. But first I'll start out with all my color coding. So I have all my transparent dots here. Get my tweezer. So I'll just go through and lay them all out. My ecru dots I use for personal stuff. My taupe dots I use for content. And then my black and gray dots I use for the shop. So I'll just go through and put all those in. Okay, so now that I put in all my color coding dots, I think what I'm gonna do is use my doodles. I like using doodles in the Hobonichi Cousin too because they stand out a little bit more. So I have these off doodles that I'll just layer over the transparent dot. And then my sister-in-law's birthday. I don't mark all birthdays on here, but I do mark certain ones where I have to send a gift since that takes a little bit more preparation for the little cake. And then here, this is Lunar New Year, and we're going to visit my husband's family for Lunar New Year. So I don't have a Lunar New Year doodle, but I'll put balloons for like party or celebration. I think I'm going to use this luggage doodle just because they live about two hours away from us. So we'll stay the night. And then here we have Valentine's and Ash Wednesday. So I do have a heart doodle for Valentine's and I have a cross icon somewhere in here. And then on the 16th is my daughter's birthday and my other daughter also has a day off. So I'll use the cakes and off doodles and then the 19th is president's day so everyone has the day off so i use another off doodle i really want to make some doodles for the holidays so hopefully i'll be able to do that soon and then lastly is my nephew's birthday here and then i'll go through and fill in everything Okay, so I wrote everything in except for my videos because like I said, I'll log what videos I did for the month after I do them because that's always kind of like fluid. And then what I did in January is decorate the bottom with all our deco stickers from our sticker kit. And I got this idea from, I think she's Ray of Sunshine or something like that over on Instagram. She's one of my customers and I totally copied her idea and I think I'm gonna do that again. What I really like about this idea is I'm not naturally a super decorative planner, so I always forget to use these stickers everywhere. So if I just use it right in the beginning of the month, then I use all my stickers and it looks super cute. But I just remembered that I really like the washi strips that we had for February. This is text from Pride and Prejudice, which is my favorite book. You know, just to change it up, since I did this last month, I think I'll use this washi down here.
that looks super cute. And then here in the side column, what I tried last month was this tracker of my content. And I think I'm gonna do that again. So I just get the sticker from our sticker kit. So I have these headers here and I get this month. And then I just number the days across the top. And then I list the things that I'm tracking here. Okay, so let me see if I want to add any more deco. You know, something I used to always do in my monthly spreads is make sure I have a planner on my spread. So I think I want to use this planner. And here's another reason why I like using tweezers is because you can better see how a sticker will look on your spread. Where do I want to put it down here? I think I'm going to use this coffee cup. I think I'll put these together here. And then I also want to use this here because I thought that would be cute. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. I think this turned out super cute. So now I set up my rings planner and my Hobonichi cousin. My other two planners in my lineup are my wellness planner, which I don't do any setup for because it's just logging things. But then I also have my memory keeping planner and there's not much setup because obviously like memories and journaling is as I go. The only deco I put is along the bottom and I just had an idea to maybe use some of these deco stickers since I didn't use it here. Maybe instead of washi, I can put stickers along here. So let me try that really quick. All right, it came out so cute. I love it so much. I even added a little sticker here on the top for a little added deco. So I'm all set up for February in my Hobonichi A6 memory planner, my Hobonichi cousin work planner, and my main rings planner. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.